if you're a full-time cruiser like us, there's always a big job that needs doing, and we hate it, is going under the water and cleaning the bottom of your boat because it always gets a lot of uh, taroth and, and barnacles on there. Um, if you've got a lot of money, a lot of space, you could get some scuba tanks and proper scuba gear and diving gear and go underneath and clean your boat, is it? You know, if you've got space for that. But if you haven't, like us, we're on a budget on a small boat, we go in the water with a scuba, with a mask on, and, um, and basically hold our breath and go under the water and clean it. And it's always a horrible job. If you go on, you go under there, you're upside down, it makes you feel dizzy and horrible, and it's just not good, is it? We were thinking there must be a better solution than, than just using this. So we started doing some investigation online, and we thought, I know what we'll do. We'll pay somebody to do it. But that is not our way and it costs money. It costs money. So we're not going to be doing that. But we came across several products uh, project, uh, products that can enable you to go underwater and breathe at the same time. And these were, I can't name any, but they were like flotation devices with 12 volt compressors on there, battery powered 12 volt compressors with a hose going down, like a diving hose to a regulator so you can stay underwater for 20 to 50 minutes at a time. Uh, we started investigating, to, you know, just to buy one of them because it would yeah. make our job so much easier. But when we found out the price, we were well put off because they are 1,500 pounds and that is 1,800 US dollars. And we thought there's no way in a million years we would buy that or we can actually afford to do that. It's a ridiculous price for what it is. So this is what we've come up with. This is basically in an electric compressor. This one is quite small. It's a 160 litre compressor. 150 litres a minute it can pump. Basically what you do use this for is to pump up the tyres in your vehicle or you can be, you can use it to pump air into a pond to put air into the water. We bought this for about £100 I think wasn't it? Something like that. Uh, what we've got on here as well is some hooker hose. This is 10 meters of just your standard hooker hose. We bought this from a dive shop. What we would advise to do as well is put an, an inline filter in there. This is actually a fuel filter. We can you can use any kind of filter as long as it's in line because this is not an is no oil. It's oilless compressor, but it might have some particles in there. We don't want to breathe them in, so they'll get stuck and trapped in the filter. And then we got a standard from your dive shop regulator to go on there. Um, this is how it came. And well, obviously it's too short, so we made an extension with crocodile clips, a positive and a negative, to go onto the batteries. Well, we're going to go outside and give this a test. Ready? I'm nervous. in a dinghy. Well, I'm just gonna go for it then. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's working. It works! It's amazing! <laughs> it's so weird! Oh my lord, Dad! Breathe in the water? Yeah! It's so weird! Oh, it's crazy! I'm not coming to water now, yeah, I'll just tell you.
so in conclusion, <laughs> I think it's a good system. Uh, it could be, if I was being picky, it could be a little bit more powerful, it could push a bit more air through the hose, but it did the job. Uh, managed to stay in the water, you know, 15 20 minutes at a time, just using it, cleaning the bottom of the boat. I think for the price we paid for this, it's an absolute bargain, and I would recommend it. Totally recommend this. How long did we use it for? We were in the water about an hour and a half altogether, weren't we? Mm. It was just buzzing away there, didn't use hardly any batteries, power. Uh, I think it's a fantastic system. And yeah, I would recommend it, but you have to you have to really breathe in quite hard, suck on it to get air into your lungs, so maybe get a slightly bigger compressor if you've got the room on your boat, get a bigger compressor.